What's up guys, today we're playing Bloodborne the Old Hunters and we are going to beat Ludwig the Holy Blade. Now this is the first part is just a recommendation, just coming down these stairs from that um, le uh, light post and ringing the beckoning bell at this spot and you can summon um, a pretty helpful ally for this boss fight because this boss fight can be a little tricky it kind of depends on what he throws at you in terms of his moveset, but it always helps to have a second target. Um, so just to stop this, uh, your friend here from going for the enemies there, you just want to run straight past them as fast as you can, and just run all the way up here till you get to the gates, and once you get to the gates you just want to turn around and kill the enemy that is following you, as you can see right here. Just kill him, and by the time you've killed this enemy, he should be pretty much here. If you don't run here as fast as you can, sometimes you can get caught up in battle, so you just want to run here. Anyway, so we're about to actually go into it. Now, I accidentally put on bolt paper there. What you want to do is put on fire paper. I wasn't even thinking, but fire paper does much more damage than bolt paper, or much more damage than no uh, elemental at all. So now what you want to do is, you can have any kind of weapon, whether you want to go slow or fast, it's totally up to you and up to how you've built your character. But as I said before, you are going to want fire and you are going to want to stay towards the back of this, um, what kind of beast is it? I'm just going to call it a beast. So you don't want to go in front of it because he will just headbutt you and it takes a lot of damage. Um, so the best is like behind it on the sides, just like I was just then. You can actually like cripple this beast um, pretty easily and he, or you can get another couple of hits in. Now your um, friend there is very helpful, he will often go for him instead of coming for you so that gives you a chance to uh, hit the boss. As you can see here I'm trying to change to fire paper. And so while he is trying to hit your friend, you want to go for the legs. And if your little buddy there is getting low on health, you want to try and get all the aggression from the boss onto you because this guy is pretty good at healing, much better than others. But he does run out, and if you can keep him alive for as long as possible, you're just going to have more and more of a chance to beat this boss. Because as I said, this is actually quite a tough boss. It's not the hardest boss, but it's um, pretty tough. Now, this is in the middle. Once you get uh, the boss down to 50% health, there will be a little cutscene, as you can see here, and he will transform into pretty much the same thing, but with a sword. So it does change up a little bit here, as you will see soon. little added bonus fact is that when you beat this uh, this boss it's very easy to get that sword which you will probably see at the end of this video I'm sure I'll just leave it in anyway here we are with fire paper on our sword again our friend is still alive now he can't um, keep healing himself infinitely so you're gonna want to beat this boss as fast as you can and get the aggro try and balance the aggro I should say now just like the other half of the battle, you want to stay towards the back, but unlike the other half of the battle, you don't have to worry about him kicking his legs backwards, you can actually just stand behind him and get much better hits on him. As you can see, my friend, he can't heal anymore, because he would have healed already if he could. So what you want to do is, I didn't actually figure this out halfway, until like halfway through, when he was on about 25% of his health, but what you want to do is stay to the left of him because he holds his sword in his right hand as you can see I just got demolished and you know just watching this guide will be able to show you some of his moves there but he doesn't really do too many of the sword ones if you stay close I mean sorry the magic ones if you stay close to him which is what you want to do so you can hit him 
see I'm trying to dodge to the right and it's not really working what you want to do is dodge to the left which is what I eventually work out see he's cutting me up pretty bad he's also missing quite a bit so if you can't dodge to the left of him I recommend dodging right into his gut because going to the right doesn't really work that much I think this is about the time when I started to figure out and going to the left is probably a better option. Yeah, so just using the tactics I've gone over here, I'm sure you'll have no problem um, defeating this boss. He's, again, he's kind of like on the middle scale. He can be tricky if he just gets like a couple hits into you, but most of the time he's pretty manageable and you can just whack him, especially if you're going in with 20 blood vials and a friend, definitely the friend helps a lot. Wasn't even thinking there, I've seen that move a million times, still ran into it. Okay, now once you get him to hit, he's pretty much just easy, he just keeps tripping over himself as you hit him. And that is how you beat Ludwig the Holy Blade. This is in Bloodborne, the old Hunter's DLC. There's my trophy. Now, this is how you get the great sword that he was wielding. You come talk to this thing. I'm not sure if you actually do have to talk to it, but what I figured out after talking to it a couple of times and he wasn't giving me the sword, that I actually have to hit it. So you'll see that eventually. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means so much to me. And we'll see you next time.